Hi, my name is Melena Copeland, and today we are going to learn how to set up a Google account and create a resume using Google Docs. So what you're going to do is you're going to add a user account if you don't have a Google account already. Some of you already do, and you don't need to do this step. So if you already have a Gmail account, a YouTube account, anything that's a Google account, you don't need to set up um, an additional Google account. But if you don't have one, you're going to click on use um, account, create account, and then you're going to um, click create account for myself. And then here you'll type in your name. So I'll type in my name, my first name, Malena, my last name, Copeland. And then you can type in your username. Now, if I type my name, it's going to say somebody already has that account. So sometimes if you add a period somewhere in your name, um, maybe I'm going to try a period here, then sometimes you can find a name that isn't taken. Here it makes a suggestion. We'll try Melena Copeland too. Okay, well that's okay for me. Uh, Melena Copeland too. Let's try that one. Melena Copeland too. Aha, that one I can get. I can get Melena Copeland too. So then you add a password and a confirmation, which is typing in the password one more time. Once you have those passwords written in there, you can just click next. Then they're going to ask you for a phone number and they want you to verify that phone number and they'll ask you for a code. And then you can click next and they'll ask you for some additional information. Once you're done, you'll be able to sign in to the Google, you'll be signed into the Google app. Once you've signed in, all you have to do is click right here on these little nine circles. And when you do that, you will see that various Google apps. Now, these Google apps include things like YouTube, Gmail, your contacts. By the way, if you put all of your contacts on your phone, if you save them under Gmail, then when you switch phones, they'll all still be there. So it won't cause a lot of problems. If you keep going down, 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 you can go down using this. You can use these arrows. You can use the scroll um, button on your mouse. You'll see Google Docs. You're going to want to click on that. And um, I'm once again going to open it using my, um, well, I've got to sign in again. Now, as you see, it says that there is an issue with cook with cookies. Well, that's okay. Um, I can click update my settings. Okay, so I got that established, and now I am looking at the Google Docs app. You'll see here that I have different resume choices, and I can even click template gallery and look at more resume choices. As I look at the resume choices, I can choose one that fits my personality best. I always like it to have a big name on the top like this, but I don't like the two rows like this. So I think I'm going to go with this one that says modern writer because I'm a modern type of a person. So here I have, um, I have the sample resume and I'm going to just click on this. This is just the outline right there. I'm going to click that so that goes away. And right here, I'm just going to click on um, any of these parts and I'm going to replace it with the information that goes for my personal information. Okay, so I'll put an address here. I'll put an address. This is not my real address, but I'm just giving you an example. I'm changing instead of your city, I'm going to put the city for our school, Santa Ana. 
and then here for ST, they want you to put your state. For us in California, we put CA, and then you'll put your zip code. And then here you're going to put your name really big. So here I would put Melena Copeland. And if I wanted to, which I like my name really big, I can make it bigger by selecting it with my mouse, by clicking and select and moving the mouse to select it. And then I can make it bigger by using the plus arrow or actually going, okay, well, I know I want it exactly 30 points, a 30 point font, or I can just go, oh, no, that's still not big enough. I want it really big. Okay. Here I would put my email, my telephone number, my skills, and my experience. You want to start with your most current job and go, go backwards. So your current job, then the one you had before that, and then the one you had before that, and then maybe even the one you had before that. And then for education, of course, we'll put our name for our college, Santa Ana College. And then you can put the location, Santa Ana, California. And then you can put a degree, which we don't have a degree. So if we want, we can just take that away. And you can put other schools that you've attended and awards. It's good to make it only one page. One thing I don't like about this is the pink font. It makes it very hard to read. So instead of pink, I'm going to make that dark blue. So anywhere where it's pink, I'm going to select the pink, choose this A, and then go for this dark blue that I kind of really like here. And I think dark blue is a professional color. So I'm going to use that dark blue color on all the areas that are pink by just selecting then clicking the A and choosing the color I like. Well, I hope that helps you with your resume. We'll talk about other things later in class, but that's a good start. Have a great time making your resume and good luck. Bye-bye now.